Today, we are going to discuss about uh, human factors and driver behavior. I am Georgianis, professor at the National Technical University of Athens. Uh, we're going to start with uh, human factors fundamentals. Then uh, we will highlight the key issues about human factors and driver behavior. We'll uh, discuss about human factor safety measures. And at the end, we will uh, see uh, the basic uh, recommendations. In fact, uh, for uh, to start with the fu fundamentals, uh, human factors is uh, a known uh, scientific discipline where uh, we, we examine the psychological and the physiological limits of the human nature, and in our case, uh, for uh, traffic and uh, safety. Uh, the aim is to identify road characteristics that are not according to human uh, threshold uh, limit values, and uh, therefore they might lead to, to crashes. Uh, when we're coming to road crashes, we have to see that operational mistakes are reactions of drivers to misreading road features that have been there for a long time. Operational and driving mistakes called incidents amount uh, something like 99% of all relevant traffic offenses. However, only 0.4% of operational and driving mistakes lead to crashes. But these crashes can have very serious consequences. That's the reason we have to focus on human factors and avoid as much as possible uh, mistakes. Getting into the issues of uh, human factors and the driver behavior, uh, we have to highlight that, uh, as we know, uh, there are three key behavioral risk factors, speeding, speeding, and speeding. And speeding, it is high, uh, overly underestimated by everybody, by the authorities, by the drivers, by the pedestrians. And uh, this is the key risk factor. Of course, there are more factors, drinking and driving, uh, seat belt and helmet use, the child restraints, the driver fatigue, the distracted driving, especially with uh, the mobile phone use. So, uh, international uh, research has demonstrated the role of uh, these uh, key uh, risk factors, repeating that uh, speeding uh, is prevalent in a very big percentage, going up to 75% of all uh, crashes uh, worldwide. This is higher on uh, urban areas. Uh, uh, but still also in uh, rural uh, areas, speeding is a critical uh, risk factor. Uh, concerning um, tackling the driver behavior, of course, enforcement is the key measure. And we see that uh, in the different uh, parts of the world, there is too much red and sometimes too much, too little green. Europe it is, le is leading in terms of uh, higher enforcement, and that's the, uh, that is resulting also in higher uh, road safety performance. But we see in uh, several parts of the world, enforcement it is weak. And we see a pattern um, for most of the risk, key risk factors for the drinking and driving, for seatbelt uh, and helmet use, for uh, speeding. So uh, we have to realize that um, enforcement, according to the World Health Organization Global Status Report, is weak and we have to work on this, especially in the low and middle income countries. Uh, getting into the key human factor issues, we have to highlight uh, the road user reaction time, the wrong direction orientation in uh, optically unframed curves, the reading time for symbols and text, the upper limit for perception of a number of objects as a location, the optical illusions, the wrong responses to misguiding, uh, irritating uh, optical features, etc. Whereas the key issues of driver behavior concern uh, enforcement and education, licensing, intentional violation of traffic rules, and uh, as, as said, uh, speeding, 
who have the pathological personal traits like anxiety, the driving under the influence of alcohol and drugs, the losing control because of a disease, and the medication, fatigue, and uh, overall uh, the risky behavior. And there, um, according to PRC um, research, there are uh, key crash triggers. First of all, we have the six second rule, where uh, according to this rule, the average driver needs four to six seconds to adapt to a new driving requirement. We have the field of view rule, where the road must offer road users a safe field of view and pre-program the correct uh, choice of speed. And uh, thirdly, we have the logic rule, well, where the road has to follow the driver's perception logic, formed by their experience and their perceptions. Let's see them one by one. Uh, for the six-second rule, uh, this is applied mainly at uh, critical areas like junctions or crossings, or um, access from private streets to parking to, to the main roads, merging and uh, for lanes, um, bus and tram stops, uh, and just other ways, etc. So where there is a critical uh, part of the, the network, there we have the six second rule that uh, the driver has to respond very quickly to any um, incident. Secondly, we have the field of view rule, where um, the critical locations concern the monotonous approaching sections and surroundings, planting, buildings, landscapes, the no more uh, far visible uh, approaching sections before critical locations where um, there is a distraction of the, of the driver, uh, asymmetrical pose of a bridge, uh, incorrect optical setting of outer curves, uh, non-vertical appearance of uh, roadside objects, uh, where um, we have to pay attention uh, for all the uh, roadside, as we say, uh, environment and have a, a road which uh, lead us not to make uh, errors. Thirdly, the logic rule uh, concerns uh, critical locations with uh, mainly the discontinuous bends in roads, um, multiple critical locations leading to overload of information processing when there is a complex uh, junction, for example, sharp curves after a, a straight uh, segment, Traffic signs, intersections directly after tunnels, um, different uh, problems in the road design, which are coming from uh, previous uh, long time uh, development of the road, which can make uh, some logic, uh, some critical locations against logic. Now, let's see uh, how we tackle these issues with the corresponding human factor safety measures. Uh, human behavior and driver behavior are uh, key priorities also at the UN Decade of Action for Road Safety. And one can see that it's not only the safe road use which is a priority, but speed management it is at the very center of uh, the activities uh, that uh, the UN and all the international organizations are uh, suggesting to, the, to all authorities worldwide with uh, emphasis on the low and middle in income countries. And uh, under this perspective, we have to understand that there is a, a quite uh, new framework already 10, 15 years, uh, the safe system approach on road safety, which is adopted by all uh, international uh, organizations, the UN, uh, the WHO, the European Commission, adopting the safe system approach uh, in order to better prevent fatal and serious crashes. So it is a preventive approach. Uh, and uh, roads should be designed and managed to take account of uh, human factors. Uh, so uh, we have to anticipate and accommodate for uh, human errors and preventing consequent death and uh, serious injury. Uh, according to the SAFE system, um, any uh, death or serious injury is unacceptable. We have to work to save as many lives as possible. 
of course, human make, uh, humans make mistakes. We have to, this as, to use it as a starting point. And the uh, humans are, are vulnerable, especially when there is speed involved because the impact is much stronger. So we need shared responsibility. Educate or enforce the drivers to better behave, but also to develop a traffic and uh, road environment, which is uh, forgiving and uh, not leading to mistakes. So it is also the authorities responsible together with uh, the road users. And this approach uh, entails that uh, safety is proactive. We have to prevent uh, uh, crashes and not uh, being uh, reactive. And uh, redundancy is crucial, meaning that uh, the more efforts and the more um, improvements are doing, both uh, by the authorities, uh, the users, uh, in terms of behavior, infrastructure, vehicles, the more we do, uh, the less chances are that uh, a crash will occur. And this is fundamental to understand in every uh, program measure of uh, road safety, uh, especially in the low and middle income countries. Getting into the safe road use uh, measures, um, first of all, uh, especially in the low and middle income countries, we have to enact and enforce road safety legislation, starting with speed limits, or with uh, blood alcohol concentration, uh, protective equipment with safety belts, uh, helmets and child restraints, uh, distraction uh, with uh, mobile phones, and uh, this uh, has to happen through a dedicated enforcement agency. Uh, secondly, next to the legislation comes uh, road infrastructure, where uh, we should take into account the needs of all road users and to design the infrastructure to facilitate uh, safe behaviors. Clear road signals, traffic calming design, uh, physical separation of road users, especially the vulnerable road users, cyclists, pedestrians, motorcyclists. Getting into the countermeasures of the key triggers, uh, when we are coming to the six seconds uh, rule, um, we, don't, we want to not surprise the driver. We have to remove visual obstacles such as crests, curves, vegetation, and buildings prior to critical uh, location, the roadside treatment, and construct traffic islands, separate the, the traffic. In order to ensure visibility by corrective measures, we have to use attention uh, guiding visual clues such as color areas, pavement changes, and special markings. And uh, in order to give advice by warning the measures, we have to install speed limits, prohibit overtaking, set up warning signs. For the field of view rule, in order to design the field of view, we have to create a sinuous road alignment against monotony, create symmetry of superstructure by constructive measures, in order to correct the field of view, we have to use eye-catching objects, create complete setting of outer curves, and cover non-parallel optical guiding lines that lead to optical illusions. And for placing warnings in the field of view, we have to install speed limits, ban overtakings, and set up warning signs. Finally, for the logical rule, in order to design logical road sections, we have to avoid uh, logical breaks in sections with the same function indicate change of function by changing uh, the alignment, the cross-section and roadside facilities. Uh, in order to correct the logical road sections, we have to use special road surfacing such as colored areas, pavement changes and special markings to indicate critical locations. And in order to place warnings in the logical road section, we have to install speed limits, ban overtaking and set up warning signs. You see that several of the measures are common and uh, certainly uh, speed limits and enforcing uh, by the infrastructure the appropriate speed is uh, a key measure. Uh, concerning uh, the um, specially de uh, developed by the ARC method, um, there are uh, key uh, approaches uh, for uh, the evaluation. At network level, 
during crash investigations and at high crash uh, concentration sections where uh, police has a role and uh, perform uh, with specialists all the necessary to evaluate uh, the road infrastructure in terms of safety. Uh, for the PRC uh, safety evaluation based on uh, the human factors uh, method, uh, there is need for special on-site inspections. We have to focus on interdisciplinary team of designers, safety engineers, and human factor experts with specific inspection protocols as foreseen in the PRC uh, manuals. Check, to, uh, check the compliance with road standards. Visit the location under different weather and lighting conditions uh, or when crashes uh, are uh, occurring. Inspection of the network level to identify safety deficiencies and inspection of uh, high crash concentration sections. And on that purpose, a special evaluation tool uh, of human factors have been uh, developed by PRC. Uh, in order to determine uh, on a human factors evaluation score of the location, to represent the percentage of array in which the locations fulfill the human factor demands. This human factor score can be determined using the, the tool uh, of PRC, uh, containing uh, validated and reliable road characteristics that cause uh, misperceptions, driving mistakes, and can result in crashes. So the tool is there. We have to identify authorities and experts to use it. And uh, coming to the last part uh, on the recommendations, we have to summarize that uh, there is an urgent need to include human factors in the road design process to achieve a self-explaining road design. We have to understand that in a safe system approach and shared responsibility, there is a, a critical role of the authorities uh, for the road design in order to, be, uh, to provide safe conditions. We have to measure based on the three classes of the human factor related triggers, the six second rule, the field of view rule, and uh, the logic rule, uh, going for a user-friendly road, for self-explaining roads, for uh, road characteristics uh, flow in a logical sequence in order to uh, avoid mistakes and provide a safe uh, road environment. An improved approach to implement road safety inspections is to perform the PRC uh, human factors uh, method uh, in order to exploit uh, experience from uh, experts uh, and then to support, especially in low and middle income countries, uh, their uh, road uh, network uh, development and operation uh, with uh, safety standards. To conclude, uh, this is uh, one part of the PR uh, campaign on uh, supporting low and middle income countries for uh, uh, safer roads. And uh, the understanding and evaluation of human factors and human behavior is a key priority for increasing road safety as it is a key risk factor. The PR Road Safety Technical Committee has highlighted the importance of understanding human factors in order to increase road safety levels and uh, produce and uh, made available uh, through various relevant reports, guidelines, tools, case studies, etc. Uh, PR is uh, systematically promote, uh, promoting uh, road safety all over the world, especially in the low and middle income countries. And this new knowledge sharing campaign uh, for road safety will uh, provide uh, monthly updates, including uh, this specific uh, human factors uh, presentation available at, uh, at the PR website and uh, related uh, newsletters. So stay tuned for more actions and uh, events. Thank you very much. And uh, let's see any questions during the discussion uh, uh, process.